एवरीवन सो टुडे वी विल स्टडी अबाउट पीपीआईपी पीपीआईपी व्हाट इज पीपीआईपी पल्स पोलियो इम्यूनाइजेशन प्रोग्राम ओके सो टुडे वी विल स्टडी अबाउट पीपीआईपी दैट इज पल्स पोलियो इम्यूनाइजेशन प्रोग्राम सो फर्स्ट वी विल सी पल्स पल्स फ्रॉम पल्स पोलियो इम्यूनाइजेशन प्रोग्राम सो पल्स हियर स्टैंड फॉर सडन साइमल्टेनियस मास एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ ओपीडी ओके सो व्हाट इज पल्स हियर पल्स हियर रिफर्स टू सडन एस 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 एम दैट इज सडन साइमल्टेनियस मास एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ ओपीडी ऑन अ सिंगल डे टू ऑल चिल्ड्रन वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट शुड बी गिवन ऑन अ सिंगल डे एंड टू ऑल चिल्ड्रन एंड द एज ऑफ चिल्ड्रन शुड बी इन बिटवीन जीरो टू फाइव इयर्स ओल्ड ओके सो द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ पोलियो इरेडिकेशन वॉज started by who in 1988 and after that in 1995 it was launched by our indian government okay so in india ppip was launched in 1995 and very important it was launched in two rounds first 9 december 1995 and just again after 6 week 20 january 1996 okay so first time the concept of pulse polio immunization was brought up by who in 1988 and after that in our india it was launched in 1995 and very important it is launched in two rounds first in 9, 9 december 1995 and the second after 6 week 20 january 1996 and the first ppi program was targeted to all children below 3 years of age very very important so the first program has targeted children below 3 years of age irrespective of their immunization status it is very very important point to be noted here next under this program children below 5 year of age was administered with two doses of opv in december and january okay so under this program children below 5 years of age were administered by two doses of opv first in the month of december and the next in the month of january next 6.5 lakh polio booths were installed across the country first two doses of opv was administered under 5 year of age to uh, children in december and january and the next 6.5 lakh polio booths were installed all over the country and third point 125 million kits were administered on each immunization day very very important total 125 million kits were administered on each immunization day next we will see about the primary objectives of ippi program so next we will see primary objectives under ppip program and the key architects of this program so first we will see objectives to achieve 100% coverage under opb so so the first objectives under ppi program is to achieve 100% coverage under opb next to immunize children through improved social mobilization and planned mop up operations so the second objective was to immunize children through improved social mobilization and planned mop up operations and the third one is not a single child should miss the immunization not a single child should miss the immunization so these are the three basic primary objectives under ppi program next we will see the key architectures of this program so first is mohfw mohfw stands for ministry of health and family welfare government of india next who we all know about this world health organization next unicef united nations international children's emergency fund next rotary club so next we will see steps taken by government to achieve the target of polio eradication so here we will discuss what are the steps taken by our government to achieve the target of polio eradication so first step was development of rrt and eprp by all states and union territories development of rrt and eprp by all states and union territories so what is rrt rrt is rapid response team what is rrt rrt is rapid response team 
and EPRP is emergency preparedness and response plan. Emergency preparedness and response plan. Next step, in a state like Uttar Pradesh and Bihar, every newborn was first identified, then they were vaccinated and the third most important one, they were tracked for each subsequent rounds of vaccination. So in the states of Bihar and Uttar Pradesh, every newborn child was first identified and then they were vaccinated and after that next they were tracked for each subsequent rounds of immunization. Now coming to the third point, immunization was done through fixed booths, house to house visit and along with most important Immunization was done on public places also like railway station, bus stands and market places. Next, high level of vigilance through surveillance was maintained across the country. Which is very important point. High level of vigilance through surveillance was maintained across the country. Next step, Government of India identified 107 high risk block for polio. Very important, Government of India identified 107 high risk block for polio and these 107 high risk areas were ensured with proper sanitation, hygiene and clean drinking water. Now coming to the next step, social mobilization activities which were intensified by involving local influencers, community and religious leaders to improve community participation. So, to achieve the targets under PPI program, it was important for our government to improve community participation because it was impossible without community participation. So, so government have intensified social mobilization activities by involving local influencers, community and religious leaders to improve community participation. Next step, a rolling emergency stock of oral polio vaccine is maintained. A rolling emergency stock of oral polio vaccine that is OPV is maintained to respond to any wild polio vaccine that is WPV. Next step, migratory population from the states of UP and Bihar are identified in the states of Punjab, Rajasthan, Haryana, Gujarat, etc. So, the migratory population from states of UP, Bihar are identified in the states of Punjab, Rajasthan, Haryana, Gujarat and children of these population was immunized there. So, the biggest challenge under this program was the large size of campaign that is 6.5 lakh polio booth construction and the vaccination of 125 million children on each immunization day. Next, cold chain and vaccine management. Next, funding political commitment was another big challenge. Weak infrastructure. Lack of health services across the country and the management of human resources like doctors, nurse, anganwadi workers and other volunteers. Finally, we will see the result. Only one case of polio was reported in 2011 in the month of January. Okay, So in the month of January 2011, only one case of polio was reported in our country and the next step on 25th February 2012, India was removed from the list of polio endemic countries. On 25th February 2012, India was removed from the list of polio endemic countries. Next, on 27th March 2014, one of the most important day for our country, 27th March 2014, India was certified as polio free country. So we have finished this particular program. As we all know, this program is very important from the point of view of uh, different medical entrance exam and nursing exams like NORSA and different uh, government exams like UPSC and other state PCS. So if you want more detail on this particular topic, you can visit to my website and that is surecure.com and the link of the website is given in the description. If you have any doubt, you can ask your queries in the comment section. Thank you.